Welcome back. Happy Saturday. You might have noticed that the, the title of this video is a little odd, but uh, you're demi-proofing, quote-unquote, and then waterproofing your, your electronics. Uh, that is a big joke because we have a guy in the club who we all love dearly who's, uh, we call him Demi-Quad, that's his nickname, but uh, in, in Patriot Blades, and we always tease him. He's in the UK, and we always tease him that he's spilling his fucking tea on his circuit boards. So it has been my quest to demi-proof electronics. And I think there is uh, three holy grails to quadcopters, okay? First holy grail to a quad is battery power. We need to figure out a way to get 10 minute flight times, 20 minute flight times, half an hour flight times, you know, and that's in the battery, obviously. Um, and as electronics progresses, I'm sure we'll see that in our lifetime. Uh, the second holy grail is loss protection, meaning when you lose one of these birds, how do you go about finding it? Because beepers are great if you're within listening distance. Motor beeper function, and that people are coming out with all these things. And I have a really good one coming up um, for $10. bucks. it will let you find your bird anywhere in the world, pretty much. So uh, for $10. Now it's going to be in a week or two whenever they come in. And then, uh, and it's something most people don't do, so I think it's interesting. It's not one of those lost your quad fucking things you buy for $25. It's it's a homemade dealie. And the other thing, the other third holy grail is the waterproofing or demi-proofing of quad parts. Most of us know already about conformal coat, okay? Uh, I use two forms. Hang on. This is the brush on kind. It's kind of like nail polish. And this is the kind that you spray on. Bam. Okay. One or the other. They're the exact same thing from the same company that I use. And I'll put links in the description to that. But... We're going to, do you see this board? It looks a little smoky looking, kind of, it's a KISS flight controller. Brand new, never been used. Um, and I just soldered an XT30 on there. Here's a little 2S, just so we can get power and some lights on there. And you see that it does work. Okay, nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a plate and we're gonna put that flight controller right there. Okay. And we're gonna take some hot sauce. That's cool. Let's see what that does. Look, hmm. Tap it down a little bit. Hmm, came right off. Interesting. And we're gonna take some mustard. Yeah. It's Memorial Day. Uh, always shake, did you see that? Always shake up your mustard first. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. That's good. Now, I'm going to go rinse this off. I need... What do we need? Here. Let me go grab some water. I'll be right back. I'm going to put water in this. Alright. Here's some water. Let's rinse this off. This mustard doesn't look too good. Hmm. Yuck. Doesn't smell so good. Got most of it off, though. Okay. Good enough. I'm going to put this over here for the wife. <laughs> and I'm going to wipe it off a little bit just to kind of do that. Hmm. wonder if it still works. There's the lights. Okay. Let's see. Now... Hmm. Let's take it and put it in our PID twister. Do you see that? Hmm. Now, something I want you guys to see. This is not trick photography. Okay, this is my PID twister. That's what I, this is not a roto twister. This is Southern Comfort Lemonade. Good shit. There's our little light. Can you see it? See the light? 
We're gonna put it in there. Woohoo! 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 Wow. Notice, though, the interesting part. Notice there's no dripping. Interesting. No dripping at all. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit the bed. Hang on. Sorry. <sighs> I hope I didn't fuck up my drink. Mm -mm. Still good. Our flight controller is still going. No problem at all. There's our light. Nothing's hot. Nothing's smoked. You can stir your drink with it. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. So here's what we did. There's not many places, you guys, you're going to see that on YouTube, taking a brand new flight controller and sticking it in mustard, hot sauce. The reason I use mustard and hot sauce, well, I really like mustard, but the, and I like hot sauce. They're very acidic. Okay. So that's what we did with that. Um, and then I dipped it into water. I flushed it around really good obviously, to rinse it off so I wouldn't ruin my drink. And then I stuck it in my Pid Twister. Look at that. No dripping. Look at that. Nothing. And I plug this guy back. Oops, shut the bed. Plug it back in. There we go. For those of you that didn't see this light on before, whenever you plug and unplug a flight controller really fast, sometimes they don't reboot. But notice my boot light and my power light are on. Stir your drink. There it is. Okay, so not too bad, not too shabby, right? That you don't get much more proof than that. <laughs> and that's what we'll just dunk. See, alcohol abuse. Do it one more because a lot of people out there don't believe shit like this. They're like, oh, it's a, it's trick photography. You know me, guys. <sighs> JJ's cheap ass hat cam. I don't do trick photography. Okay, so. Enough of that. Um, I used the kiss because I had it and I will never use it. So just in case this didn't work, here's what I did to do that. Take the spray and I'm not going to show you how to do it because it's very straightforward in how you do it. Uh, here's our flight controller. What I did was I first brushed it thoroughly with Actually, I sprayed it. I used the spray conformal coat, but if you don't want to buy the spray, buy this. This stuff's 12 bucks. The spray is 20, I think. Uh, I like the spray because it really gets everywhere, but the brush stuff works fine too. I do not know, well, let me let me preface this. Um, you want to plug in a USB cord and plug in any ports that you don't want fucked up. Because when you spray, spread this shit on there, it's gonna be an insulator, and if you get it in your USB port, it is not going to work, ever, okay? So make sure you plug up your USB, plug up your cables up here, okay? Even if you're not gonna use those cables, it might be a good idea to do that. Now, if you're not gonna use these ports, I'm not, you, I'm using the KISS as an example, but you can use any flight controller. If you're not gonna use these ports ever, then bathe the shit out of them with this stuff. Actually, I don't use these ports, so it's that's what I do. Um, but the USB, you obviously want to protect. So what I do, you can either stick some silly putty in there or something to that nature, maybe some, some of your kids' Play-Doh, or just stick a USB in there, and then brush on your conformal coat all over both sides. Now, when you're done with that, then you go out and you buy this. I bought this off Amazon for 10, eight bucks, I think. This is never wet. Rust-Oleum partnered with Never Wet, and this stuff is fucking amazing. It's a hydro displacement spray, okay? You can literally take a piece of toilet paper, spray it with this stuff, dip it in water, and it'll come out perfectly dry. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description to one of their uh, test sites, and uh, you can watch a couple of videos. It's really fucking cool to watch. Um, but anyway, you, what you do after you can formal coat the hell out of your boards, then you want to spray it with this kind of like you would with spray paint. Okay. Not real close, six inches away, do a couple passes, bam, let it dry for, I would say 45 to an hour. Okay. I let it dry in the 90 degree sun today for 45 minutes. It was fine. Then do a coat or two of the step two and you will get this. Where'd it go? Fuck. 
See, yeah, pid twister. Uh, then you'll get the smoky look to it, okay? Once you're done, you can do all of this fancy shit that I've been doing. Stir your roto twister or your pid twister in this case with your little thing. Now you lost the battery, there it is. And then plug it back in and it works fine. Look at that. <laughs> no problem, okay? Then what you do is you solder it up. You wanna take, this works for ESCs, flight controllers, but again, make sure you plug up anything you don't want to get schmutz in, all right? Um, then solder your wires on. Once you solder everything, go back over the solder joints with this. You will not need to use this again because that would be a mess, okay? Don't do that. I'll put a link in the description of that stuff too. It's absolutely fucking phenomenal. Um, but then after you solder stuff, put the conformal coat back on, bam, you are 100% waterproof, 100% uh, hot sauce proof, whatever the hell you want to be Look, Bam, okay? Uh, now, this stuff, I think, don't quote me on this, I'll put a link in there, I think was eight bucks, and this was 12 bucks for one of these. And um, when you do conformal coat, here's another tip, do it in the sunlight if you can, because the UV rays will make it reflect and you can see where you've coated it, and it will turn, I think, blue. To me, it just turns a different shade, but to you, it's probably a blue, so you can see where everything's at. I have not tested this stuff on raw electronics. Um, I might do that. I might, I've got tons of old boards. I might uh, just skip the conformal coat and just try that. But I think conformal coat is probably the way to go because it is a true sealer of electronics. I don't know if that stuff's going to give you a corrosive finish or not. And that's one of my concerns. Um, because if you start getting stuff in your gyros and corroding stuff, so anyway, blah blah blah. 12 bucks. 10 bucks, 22 bucks, but the shit's gonna last you forever. ESCs, VTXs, flight controllers, don't do motors. Um, motors are inherently waterproof anyway. And uh, your receiver, obviously. And so for 20 bucks, give or take, you can do probably 100 birds, I would assume. Very, very good insurance. And now I can say with confidence that you can lose your bird in the lake. Go out pick it up, plug the fucking battery in, and fly away. I couldn't say that with just conformal coat, because conformal coats, eh, this stuff is a hydro repeller. And when you guys do me a favor, go watch the, this is not a plug, I bought mine off Amazon, um, but go watch the uh, Never Dryer, what, what's this stuff called again? Never Wet. Go watch the Never Wet videos. It's absolutely phenomenal, and it's real. I bought the stuff, I've played with it, I've tried it, and it's absolutely awesome. So if you want to demi-proof your gear, love you, Dem, trust me when I say, boom, this is the way to do it. This is true waterproofing. You can literally take your bird, and I'm going to redo my GPS drone with all this stuff. Take your bird, go fly in a thunderstorm, and fly all day fucking long. Take a little bit of rain axe. Put the rain -X on your camera lens, polish it up. The rain will even bounce off of your camera lens. You can fly all fucking day. I'm telling you. So keep shine side up, kids. I hope this helps. Very fucking cool. Take care. Bye. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> JJ! Hope you like fishing. Bam, JJ! Hey, JJ! That's what I 